right then guys, welcome back to a brand new video and it is a bit of a nightlife type of video so I don't be having a little wonder down the prom have a little look in the town area and see what is happening on Blackpool on a Friday night so let's get straight on with the video And as you can see, just right in the distance, it is a clear night tonight with the sky. The weather ain't been the best in Blackpool, but we got the Blackpool Tower just right in the distance. It is looking quite quiet on the promenade up this way. Just made my way behind the Metropole. And I haven't noticed these before, these type of lights lighting up the way. Don't have done quite new, only been here before. But yeah, it do look nice, definitely when it's dark. It looked like it, the Metropole got a bit more scaffolding behind there. So is it a big job what is happening behind the Metropole? You've got a couple of people outside Sanningans. You, and this is like the main thing what people have been coming to Blackpool for recently is the illuminations. The weather up being a bit up at mixer. One minute we have like really hot sun, next minute we have in like rain. I think this is why I keep getting the cold for. I've been trying to come out videoing and I thought I'll come out on Friday to do this for you guys. And all day, I've been running all so far, but I thought I'm not getting, not letting the cold or the flu win me tonight. So I all wrapped up and I still came out. You got the beach house, but looked like it ready to close up, already closed, and all the outdoor seating area being covered up. And of course we got one of the popular type of display happening on Blackpool Tower. And this is my favourite one by far this year. I have shown this in my other videos. But I thought I saw it again in this one while I'm walking down the promenade. I will be heading into the town over here in this video also. But there is so much to show you guys at the same time. But I know some of the old viewers might have already seen this on the previous videos. But I got some new viewers what just came across the channel that might not have already seen it. Also got the tunnel lights. I like the bubbles lights again this year in Blackpool. Uh, um, uh, when I walked past these, when these were getting all built, the um, council person was telling me that they do hire them out to different towns. So you think, oh, I think I've seen them somewhere else. Nine out of ten, you probably did. But just coming up to Golden Mound now, up near the lifeboats, and more further you get into and the promenade more busy seem to be looking this part of the beach always confused me because the sea never seemed to come in over this way as much but we've got central pier just right there with the big wheel all lit up which one is your favorite pier out of south north and central which one do you prefer to go to when you're down in blackpool We can't forget about the hot horses tree. I think these probably here for the light pool in October. But I ain't a hundred percent sure on that. Of course, we also got the horse and carts over there. And here we got 
the old police station and courts. This will be coming down anytime soon. Definitely the courts. I'm not too sure about the police station, but time you know it, they'll be coming down piece by piece. But as you can see, there is lots of too greedy all over the walls down here. But it is still a popular car park where people come and park the cars when they come to Blackpool. Which it is in a prime location. And we got the new multi storage car park there. Last time when the fireworks were going up, so I seen queues so big for people to try to get back in there to grab the cars. Wonder if will that be happening again next week? Right then, so I'm just making my way into the town centre now. Look like Starbucks is getting a delivery ready for the morning orders. It is starting to rain now, and I am walking at the back of the Winter Gardens. I can't believe how quiet town is actually is tonight. Yeah, we got a couple of people for the Luma Racing and on the promenade. But when you come into town itself, it is quite quiet. Just on the St John's were now. We still got the bus running. It stopped right here in the town. It's still quite early, about quarter to ten now, I think. We got the Blackpool transport people out also, probably seeing everything all running smoothly with the buses. Got a few little groups out, but nothing major. Like, you expect a bit more of a Friday night. Well, I do anyway. So I just came onto Tarbert Road and I'll be heading on to Ditson Road up near the Mark Kelly's and see what is happening up near the Mark Kelly's and Funny Girls. See if they're a bit more life. It looks like we've got a couple of police cars up here on Ditson Road. They don't look like them reporting to any crime, I can't see it off anything. Or oh, didn't just like a Sander Bis Fisa well and do that. Of course we got the new tram station slash holiday in. But um, I think I seen somewhere. What if they ain't running after 7 pm? So I don't know why they ain't running down Carbon Road after 7 pm. But yeah, a bit of news what I seen. We got like the man bar and funny girls just here on the corners on Ditson Road. But yet again, it don't look like a lot is happening. You got all the takeaway shops open and people walking through. So, so everyone is like people getting ready to go home maybe. I don't know what happened here, but it looked like they got some new windows put in. But then it's lost a glass on the driveway. The Duke, this used to be called the Duke of York, but they have changed names and they have a revamp inside not long ago. Right then, so if you did enjoy this type of evening walk, then please give it a big thumbs up. If you want to see more videos of Blackpool and the surrounding areas of Blackpool, then please hit the subscribe button. If you don't want to miss any upcoming videos, then please turn on the notification bell. I'll see you on the next one.